Hey guys, Stingpoo here. Um, today, for my video, I'm going to be doing a character tier list um, for Dead by Daylight survivors first. So what I mean by character is I just mean their perks. That's it. So for Dwight, pretty much his main goal is to like do generators with his teammates and make sure they survive, do stuff faster, stuff like that. So first up we have Bond. This is a really good perk. I recommend it uh recommend getting it early. So what it does is you could see allies within a certain range, and I find this really good. I use it a lot. Prove thyself. This makes the gen go faster for each person on the generator, and also you get more blood points. So that's also really good. Leader. This perk is used to be good. Well, it's still okay. Um, so pretty much what it does... Uh, Everyone around you does stuff faster within a certain range, but it doesn't do generators faster or window vaults or pallet throwdowns, stuff like that. So, Dwight, I'm going to put him in the B tier. Next up, we have Meg. So, pretty much, she's like the um, a runner. So, she's normally the one getting chased. First up, we have Quick and Quiet. Um, if you do a fast action like a Window Vault or Ballot Vault or something like that, it makes no noise. And it has a cooldown. Next up, we have Sprint Burst. Uh, when you run, you go at a quick dash and you get a lot of d distance and then you're exhausted for a bit. This is really good. I use this pretty often, but there are better exhaustion perks in my opinion. Lastly, we have Adrenaline. This is probably one of the best perks in the game. When all the generators are done, you heal one health state, move at the 150% movement speed for 5 seconds, it cancels all um, exhaustion, like if you sprint first, then adrenaline pops off, it won't count. And it'll wake you up if you're asleep, and it's just so good. So I'm going to put Meg in the S tier. Next up we have Claudette. She's pretty much the healer, should I say. First up we have Empathy. Um, maxed out, this is really good. You can see injured survivors across the entire map. It's super good. I recommend it. I, I really like it. Next up is Botany Knowledge. You pretty much heal faster. That's it. Next up is Self Care. You could heal yourself without a medkit. And while using a medkit on yourself, it uses less durability. So I'm going to put Claudette in the B tier. Next up, we have Jake Park. Um. First of all, we got Iron Will, probably one of the best perks in the game. This perk alone will get him really high. Then we have Calm Spirit. Um, you don't make screaming noises, and all the crows won't make any noise. Next up, we have Saboteur. Uh, you sabotage hooks, and you can see hooks while survivors are being carried. So. Just because Iron Will is here, Jake is going to be in the C tier. Next up we have Nia. Um, she is like a stealth person. So first up we have Balance Landing. Uh, when jumping from a high place, your um, the jump um, the scatter will be reduced. And you get a sprint first for three seconds after that and then you become exhausted then we have urban evasion you crouch at walking speed when it's maxed out it's a really good stealth perk uh, streetwise uh, you and allies around you their item gets uh, consumed slower so you flashlights will be lasting longer toolboxes medkits so, I'm going to put Nia in the A tier. 
Next up is Ace. First up, we have Open Handed. All aura perks are uh, increased a bit by how much you could see. So, like with Bond, you'll be able to be I can't speak. Be able to speak. I can't. I can't speak. You'll be able to see more. Yeah. Um, next up, we have Up the Ante. Increases luck for each survivor alive. With all survivors alive, it's pretty good. You could Kobe pretty decently. But it's still... There are better perks. And last we got Ace in the Hole. Which you're guaranteed a add-on from an item when searching a chest. So I could find a flashlight in there with a battery or a lens. So Ace, I'm going to put him in the F tier. Just cause none of his perks are really meta and no one really uses them unless you're using a gimmick build or meme build Monday. Next up is Bill. Left behind, uh, if you're the last survivor, you can see the hatch within a certain meter. So this is one of the perks that go well with open handed. Uh, and it's pretty okay. Next up we have Borrow Time. Um, you unhook, unhook a survivor, and they'll get the endurance status effect, putting them in the deep wound, so it's an anti-tunnel perk, and you can really save your teammates with this. You could stop a face camper, it's so satisfying. Unbreakable, you could get up from recovering, and also you recover faster, but you can only recover fully once. So, I'm gonna put Bill in the A tier just because of these two perks next up we have Feng Min um, first of all we got Technician uh, doing gens are quieter and pretty much what else does it do I think uh, if you mess up a skill check it won't make any noise but as you can see right there an additional 5% is lost so it's really not good. Next up we have live. Um, if you vault a window, you get a sprint burst and it causes you to get exhausted. Next up we have alert. Uh, when the killer kicks something, you could see them. So, I'm gonna put Fang in the C tier. David. First up, we have We're Gonna Live Forever. It's a really good perk when you're first starting out the game, but when you get the higher ranks, you'll, you'll probably won't use it. What you do is you get up the four tokens, and for each survivor you either take a hit for or save from the hook, you'll get a point, and each one of those points will uh, give you blood points. Next up, uh, we have Dead Hard. Um, Pretty much what you do is when you're injured and you're running, you press the active ability button, you dash forward and you're invincible for half a second. Lastly, we have no mither. You spawn the match injured and can't be healed. Um, you don't drop blood, your grunts, and, your grunts and moaning are reduced to zero. And also you could get up from the ground whenever you want. So, for David, we're going to put him in the B tier, just because these two perks are really good. But, this perk puts him down. I probably would put him in the S tier if they changed it somehow. Next up, we have Lori Strode. Um, first up, we got Soul Survivor. Um, for each teammate dead, the killer's aura reading ability will get reduced by 20 meters and it's just not good object of obsession uh, you see the killer and the killer sees you when you're looking in their direction so it's good if you're trying to get the attention or just want to know where they are or it's a good uh, way to know where not to be decisive strike what you do is when you're unhooked um, and the killer tunnels you 
they'll pick you up, and then you'll get a skill check. And if you hit that skill check, the killer will be stunned for 5 seconds, and you'll get out of the killer's grasp. So we're gonna put Lori in the A tier. Next up we have Quentin. Um, first up we have Wake Up. Um, so you could see the exit gates. And while opening the exit gates, the survivors could see you opening them. And also, it allows you to open the exit gates 5% faster. Wow. Next up we have Pharmacy. You open the chest faster and the noise is quieter. And, um, you're guaranteed a green medkit the first time. Next up we have Vigil. What this does is, you and survivors around you, you recover from status effects faster, like exhausted, hemorrhaging, mangled, hindered, blindness. And, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm gonna put Quentin in the E tier. Just cause Vigil, it brings him up just a little, little more. Vigil, it's not a great perk, but it works. So, E tier. Next up we have Detective Tap. First up we have Tenacity, you crawl faster and could recover at the same time. Not fully, just cover. Detective's Hunch, for each uh, time a generator is completed, you could see um, totems, other generators, chest, um, around you for 10 seconds. Stake out. When you're in the killer's terror radius, you get up to to uh, tokens. Um, at level 3 you get up to 4, and if you get a good skill check at something, one of those tokens are consumed and it's a great skill check. So, Detective Tap, we're, I'm gonna put him at the C tier. Kate Denson, uh, first up we have Dance With Me. Mal, fast vaulting or leaving a locker. Um, scratch marks are removed from you for three seconds, and it has a cooldown of um, 60 seconds. It's not an exhaustion perk. I thought it was the first time. Next up, we have Windows of Opportunity. You can see pallets and windows within a certain range, and when you use one of them while in a chase, it has a cooldown of 30 seconds. Next up is Boil Over. So, when the killer is carrying you, and when you wiggle, uh, they like move around more, like... It's harder for them to move, they have less control. And they're unable to see hooks within 10 meters with auras. Next up we have Adam. First up we have Diversion. Um, you stand in their terror radius and you could throw a pebble and it'll make a noise bubble. But Next up we have Deliverance. You get a safe unhook on a survivor. Um, you could uh, jump off the hook your first attempt. But only if it's a safe unhook. And you have a chance of being hooked first. So it's very risky. And also you remain broken for a while. Next up is Autodidact. Um, when you're healing someone, it, there's a little penalty on skill checks. But the more uh, tokens you get for each skill check you hit while healing, it'll increase a lot. So, if I'm healing someone and if I hit a skill check with its max amount of tokens, it'll go up like by 75%. So, it could be good, but it could also be bad. So, we're going to put Adam in the C tier. Next up we have Jeff. Um, first up we have Breakdown. When you're saved from the hook, the hook is, um, destroyed for a while. And the killer's aura, uh, is shown to you for four seconds. After ca uh, care, for each time you unhook a survivor, or heal them, or they heal you, or unhook you, you could see them across the map. So it's pretty much, like... You do something good for them, they get something good in return, and the other way around. 
Next up, we have Distortion. You start the trial with three tokens. If any time your aura is revealed to the killer, it would be, um, uh, it would take a token and they wouldn't be able to see you and you have no scratch marks for a while. So we're gonna put Jeff in the B tier. Next up we have Jane. Um, first up we have Solidarity. Just read it, I don't feel like explaining it, it's just super bad. Next up we have Poise. When the generator is done, you don't have scratch marks for like 10 seconds. And Head On. You jump into a locker and when you jump out after a little while, you stun the killer and you're exhausted. It's really good, but I'm gonna put Jane in the C tier. Next up we have Ash. So, first up we have Flip Flop. Um, the more you recover, um, when you pick, when you're picked up, and let's say I'm fully recovered, and you get picked up, um, the your wiggle progression it'll be like halfway done buckle up um you could see survivors aura or like down survivors you could see their auras and the more they're recovered you could tell because they'll like become a different color like if they're halfway they'll, they'll be like a pink color and if they're fully recovered they'll be white next up we have metal man you take three protection hits, and then next time you're hit, while injured, you don't go into the dying state. I find it really good. I really like that. So we're gonna put Ash in the D tier. Just since Metal Man's nerf, he, it really hasn't been that good. Next up we have Nancy. Uh, we have Better Together while working on a generator. Survivors could see the aura, and... When a survivor is down, and you're on a generator, you can see every survivor. I find it really good. I really like it. Next up, we have Fixated. Um, when you run, you can see your own scratch marks, and you walk faster. Uh, next up, we have Inner Strength. You break a totem, and get hit and hide in a locker. After a few seconds, you'll be fully healed. I find this really good. I really like it. So we're going to put Nancy in the S tier. Next up we have Steve. Um, first up we have Babysitter. When you unhook a survivor, they leave no br uh, blood trails or scratch marks for a few seconds. And you can see the killer for a few seconds and the killer could see you. So it's mostly about like being altruistic while knowing where the killer is. It's really not that good though. Next up we have camaraderie, I think that's how you say it. When you're struggling and a survivor comes within a few meters of you, you're struggling, timer is paused for a few seconds, so then you struggle on the hook longer. Uh, I, I think this is good for low ranks, but for ranks like purple or red, even green, it's just not that good. But, there has been moments where it saved my life, I'll give it that. Uh, second Wind. Um, after fully healing a survivor, uh, this perk will light up. And when you're hooked and get off the hook, you get the broken status effect. But, you'll be healed in like 30 seconds, so it's an anti-tunneling perk. It's good with DS, so if you get hit, or, um, not with, yeah, with DS. So if you get hit, you use DS, and then you run the killer around for a few more seconds, and they're, then you're fully healed. I find it really good, and, well, not really good, it's okay. So for Steve, we're gonna put him in the D tier, mostly because of these two. Next up we have Yui, Lucky Break. When you're injured, you leave no blood trails for a few seconds. And when you're healed, like let's say I've been injured for 30 seconds, that means the you won't be able to use the perk for 30 seconds. So 
when you fully use the perk, um, it just stops. Next up, uh, any means necessary, you could pick up pallets and it has a cooldown. So, yeah. Next up, we have breakout. Uh, if you're in the range of someone, um, how could I say it? If you're running towards someone on the killer's shoulders, sh sh yeah, sh I can't speak. So, <clears throat> they'll wiggle out faster and you get the haste status effect. And you help them break out. I find it really good. I really like it. So we're going to put Yui in the B tier. Next up, we're going to do Zarina. First up, we have Off the Record. While, um, when you're unhooked, you, um, for 60 seconds, you, um, are quiet and you're not shown by the killer. It's not that good. <clears throat> Red Herring, you work on a gen for a bit, hop in a locker, makes the gen explode, so it's really good if, it's a good combination with quick and quiet. So you'll work on a gen for a bit, the perk will light up, you'll get chased, you'll use quick and quiet, hide in a locker, the gen will make a noise, so then the killer will leave you, because they can't find you because you're in the locker. So that's pretty good, but there are better perks. Next up we have four of the people. If you're uh, healed, fully healed, you could instantly heal a survivor, but that will cause you to be broken and you become the obsession. I find it really good. I'm going to put her in the uh, C tier. I've been nice. Next up we have Cheryl, Soul Guard. Um, when you are recovered from the ground, you get the endurance status effect for a few seconds. So then, if like you're on the ground, they pick you up. Soul Guard acts activates, and you'll be able to take another hit. Next up, we have Blood Pact. Um, when you see the obsession, and when they're uh, when they're injured, and when you heal them. Um, <clears throat> when you're healing them, you both gain the haste status effect until you're no longer together. So it could be good, but I never use it. Next up, we have Repressed Alliance. You work on a gen for 80 seconds, and then you block it. And then the perk deactivates. <sighs> I'm going to put Cheryl in the D tier. The only reason she's not is because of Soul Guard. Because I love this perk. Next up, um, we have Felix in the last of our tier list. Um, first, we have Visionary. You see generators within 32 meters. And when the generator is done, um, it's disabled for a few seconds. And it's really bad. Next up, we have Desperate Measures. For each survivor injured, all your altruistic actions are increased by 10% for each person injured. So, like, when it's max maxed out, it's, like, um, like, 52, 56. So, faster. Uh, next up we have built to last um, When your item depletes after um, a few seconds, it'll Gain back more charges, so it's really good and Probably the only reason I'm putting them in the E tier So that's it for our tier list if you don't know the order the order goes S a B C D-E-F. And that is it for the video. Bye.